British Mathematical Olympiad Round 2 2022 First Problem Okay, I want to solve this problem and we want to solve this step by step together and after that I will leave some homeworks that um, you can solve with the idea that is useful here. So let's see. For a given positive integer k, we call an integer n a k number if both of the following conditions are satisfied. First condition, the integer n is a product of two positive integers which differ by k. Second condition, the integer n is k less than a square number. Find all k such that there are infinitely many k numbers. For understanding the problem better, let's consider the small examples. So, the idea we want to use this as so much useful, especially in BMO, considering small examples or small cases. And it has different aspects. For example, in some problem like this, we want to consider as k. Sometimes, for example, we have f of f of f of something, three f's, you should consider f of x first, two f's, three f's. Okay. So let's read. It says, suppose k is 1. The integer n, so we say n a k number, the, if uh, both of the following conditions are satisfied, the first condition, the integer n is a product of two positive integers, which differ by k, which differ by 1. So it is a times a plus 1, and because there are positive integers, so a belongs to positive integer. This symbol means belongs to, it is positive integer plus positive integers. Next one, the integer n is k less than a square number. So k less than, so 1 less than a square number, b squared minus 1. Now here, we conclude what? We conclude that a times a plus 1, which equal to n, equal to b squared minus 1. Now, here, one way is to factorizing this. Let me tell you two approaches. We can say approach number one or solution number one for this part and solution number two. Solution number one, you can factorize this and say b minus one, b plus one. If b is a, if b is a, it will be a minus one, a plus one. And if you consider if it wants to be equal to this, we will see a plus 1, a plus 1 equal, but a minus 1 is smaller than a, okay? If b equal to a. So, if b equal to less than a, it, it is smaller than this. If b equal to a plus 1. a plus 1 minus 1, a, a plus 1 plus 1, a plus 2. And if you consider this part, a, a plus 1. Now you can see it is greater. And if you increase b, it is greater. If you decrease b from a, it will be small. So it is not possible. Let me tell you another solution, which is so much useful in many problems also, like mm, promise questions. That is for USA summer camp, prestigious summer camp. The idea is, you say, I know a times a plus 1 equal to b squared minus 1. Then you say, okay a squared plus a if you expand and if you take negative one to the left hand side plus one is b squared and now we say okay a squared plus a plus one which is b squared is greater than a squared because a is positive integer and also it is less than a plus one squared why because it is a squared plus two a plus one because a is positive integer obviously it is greater than this now a squared and a plus one squared there are two consecutive perfect squared so we cannot have a perfect square between them. For example, look, suppose a perfect square, b squared, is between 5 squared and 6 squared. So it's not possible. Why? Because b cannot be 4 squared, cannot be 5 squared, cannot be 6 squared, cannot be 7 squared. So it is contradiction. Okay. So we've reached contradiction for k1. Let's consider k2. If we consider k2, n equal to a times a plus 1 and n equal to b squared, a times a plus 2, sorry, a times a plus 2, and a is positive integer, and n equal to b squared minus 2. Let's, uh, 
square number, k less than, so 2 less than square number and product which differ by 2 here. Now, let's analyze this part. I want to use solution number 2 here, see is it possible or not. a times a plus 2 equal to n equal to b squared minus 2. So a squared plus 2a equal to b squared minus 2. So here if we add by 2, a squared plus 2a plus 2 equal to b squared. We know that a squared plus 2a plus 2 is a plus 1 whole squared plus 1 equal to b squared. We know it is greater than a plus 1 squared, obviously. Now, um, it is. I want to prove this. I want to prove also it is less than a plus 2 whole squared. Okay, so let's see. Is it correct or not to reject k2? Left side was what a squared plus 2a plus 2. Is it less than or equal to a squared plus 4a, 2 times a times 2? plus 4. And if you want to simplify this, a squared a squared will be cancelled. It will be 2a plus 2 greater than 0. And obviously it's correct. Okay. And it's correct between two consecutive perfect squares, so it's not possible. Let's consider k3. So n equal to a times a plus 3. n equal to b squared minus 3. So we conclude that a is a positive integer. We conclude that a times a plus 3 equal to b squared minus 3. And then you can add by 3 a squared plus 3a plus 3 equal to b squared. Now, I want to prove again a squared plus 3a plus 3 equal to b squared. Uh, it says greater than, and look, it says what it says a positive integer k it says for find all k such that there are infinitely okay infinitely many k numbers so here we say it is greater than a plus one squared a plus two squared we want to prove this mm -hmm. it is a squared plus two a plus one this part is obvious because two a is less than three a a positive integer one less than three and this part is a squared plus 4a plus 4. And also, obviously, 4a greater than 3a, 4 greater than 3. So k3 doesn't work. k4, if we consider n equal to a times a plus 4, n equal to b squared minus 4, a is positive integer, so a times a plus 4, equal to b squared minus 4. If you add by 4, it is a squared plus 4, a plus 4 equal to b squared. And as you can see, it is a plus 2 whole squared equal to b squared. Okay, so here, for all a, it's satisfied. For all a that are positive integers, we can say n equal to a times a plus 4. Also, n equal, which is a squared plus 4a, also, n equal to a plus 2 whole squared minus 4, which is again equal to a squared plus 4a. So, for each a, you can find a good n. So, there are infinitely many n's that are good. So, k4 is the first number that is good. Now, let's generalize it. We could also generalize it earlier, but I wanted to just um, be good at considering a small example because it is so much useful in many problems of BMO, USAMO, IMO. And also other national exams, I want to I wanted to work more on considering a small example. Now, I want to solve it for general k. And the problem says k is a positive integer. Okay, let's read. Given positive integer k. So k is positive integer. N is a times a plus k. Uh, N is b squared minus k. So from here, an a is positive integer. Now we say, okay, a times a plus k equal to n equal to b squared minus k. So we can conclude that a squared plus a k, if we add 
k to both sides plus k equal to b squared. Now, let's see. Can we consider it between two consecutive perfect squares? a squared plus a k plus k equal to b squared. Now, because I want to create this, I say, okay, it is greater than a plus k over 2 whole squared. Then I have a squared plus 2 times this a k. But here, because we want to consider between two integer consecutive perfect square, in this case, if k is even. So k is 1, because if k is odd, it is not integer. If k is even, I want to prove it is less greater than this, less than a plus k over 2 plus 1. Okay, all squared. Now, let's analyze each part. The first part is equivalent that a squared plus 2 times this times this, which will be a k plus k squared over 4 is less than a squared plus a k plus k. So a squared, a squared will be cancelled, a k, a k will be cancelled. So I want to prove k is greater than k squared over 4. It means what? It is equivalent that uh, if you divide by k, it's k over 4 less than 1. And it is equivalent that k is less than 4. But as you can see, We've considered k1 to 4, so k is greater than 4. So, look, it is not important. When you see this, we move it here. So, we change this part to a plus k over 2, and exactly by this proof, we've proved that it is greater than this for k greater than 4, and here we change it to negative 1 squared. Okay, so let's erase this part. And by the same way, you say, okay, we want to prove a squared plus a k plus k is why it is less than a squared plus 2 times this times this a k plus k squared over 4. a squared a squared a k a k. So we multiply by 4, 4 k less than or equal k squared. We divide by k, it will be 4 less than or equal k. And we will see it is correct, correct. Correct, correct. What happens? Okay. Now let's work on this part. Here it is what? It is a squared. The formula for it, you should memorize it. a plus b plus c squared equal to a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2ac plus 2bc. Now if you apply it here, it will be a squared plus k squared over 4 Mm, plus 1 plus 2ak minus 2a minus k. Is it less than a squared plus ak plus k? So we cancel a squared, we cancel ak, and then let's see what can we say. So k squared over 4, let's take all things that have k to the left side, k squared over 4 plus 1 minus k minus k minus 2k. Why is this or equal to a? Okay, so the problem says what? The problem says find all k's that for infinitely many a's we have this. We have infinitely many k numbers. But here, as you can see, after it is a constant, okay? But if we want to consider is it, for example, do we have infinitely many k numbers? A should increase a lot. And after some parts, a will be greater than, after some numbers, some k numbers, A will be greater than this, so it will be correct for some A. So, if k is greater than 4, we proved, and k is even, we, we proved that it is bad. Now let's consider case 2. Similarly, we want to prove case 2k is odd, and after that, I want to leave some homeworks. Case 2. k is odd. Okay, so n equal to a times a plus k, and n equal to b squared minus k, and k is odd. So, again, a is positive integer, k is also positive integer. And now, we can consider what? We can consider a times a plus k equal to b squared minus k. So, here, 
it will be a squared plus a k plus k equal to b squared. Now I want to work on, look here in previous part, let me show you in previous part, a plus k over 2, we're near this number. Because k is odd, we should consider k minus 1 over 2. Mm, it seems that, for example, we can prove a plus k minus 1 over 2 squared a plus k plus 1 over 2 squared. Let's check this. For example, if we see, okay, this one is greater than this one. Again, like previous case, we moved this one to the most, the very end right-hand side. So, let's analyze this part first. Here, okay, this part, it will be what? It will be a squared plus 2 times a times this a times k minus plus k minus 1 over 2 whole squared. Is it less than um, a squared plus a k plus k? a squared a squared will be cancelled. a k a k will be cancelled. Now, if we take negative k to uh, k to left hand side, negative 1 to right side, it will be what? k minus 1 over 2 whole squared minus k is it less than negative a to right side a. again it is constant and the problem says find all k's that uh, there are infinitely many k numbers but because it is constant after some a's uh, you will see okay it will be correct now let's prove this side a squared plus a k plus k is less than a squared plus two times this times this which is a times k plus one plus k plus 1 over 2 whole squared. Now, a squared, a squared will be cancelled, a k, a k will be cancelled. Now, we take this to left hand side, so here we have what a greater than a plus k minus k plus 1 over 2 whole squared. Again, by the same proof, because it is constant, but we want to find infinitely many a, so after some a, it will be correct. So after some a, both inequalities will be correct, and we will see. Okay, we don't have any, we don't have infinitely many a's that are good, so we don't have infinitely many k numbers. So we proved that our only number that is good is k equal to four. For k equal to four, for any a, there are, we can find a k number a times a plus k. A here a times a plus four. Now, let me write some homeworks for you. For example, homework number one. Homeworks that you can solve with considering small examples. Okay, it is BMO 2, 2020, BMO round 2, 2023, third problem. You have four problems, third problem. Can be solved only and only with the small examples. Question number three. Problem number two can be solved with small examples and invariants. Okay, so I want to just write the problems that can be solved with small examples. Homework number one. Homework number two. You can solve this IMO problem. It's for last IMO. With IMO 2022. With small examples and a little invariant. Okay, so for example, if you see my video in for BMO 2 2023. I solved the problem, problem number two, that is related to invariance. And if you see that, you will understand, okay, so how to solve this. Also, I released the solution of this problem. You can see that in my videos. And, okay, also you can try USAML 2023, last USAML, problem number five. Okay, problem five. You can also solve this and you can find key points related to concert a small example. And there are lots of other problems. Also, I released all solutions of USAMO 2023 and USAJMO for juniors 2023. You can use my videos to see the solution is what, and you can see the video and try to solve step by step with that video okay we will solve also other problems and i will leave other related homeworks for you 
Okay, if you had question or wanted to learn more ideas, background ideas like this, as I said before, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description comments.